When I first dove into Clipper last year, I was blown away by the firmware's capabilities and quickly fell in love with the mainsail web interface. However, there were a few plugins that I was missing from the Octoprint instances that I had been running. Chatting with Mainsail last year, I mentioned one that I really enjoyed using was the Cancel Object plugin. This plugin works by allowing you to erase an object from the build plate mid-print and is a powerful tool when batch 3D printing. This gives you the ability to remove a failing part while allowing the rest to complete. At the time, Mainsail actually told me that they had this feature available, but it wasn't in main clipper and required you to use a fork. I decided at the time to hold out in hopes that this feature would make its way upstream into main clipper, and I'm happy to announce that cancel object or exclude object as it's called in clipper is now available in the regular main install of clipper firmware. In today's video, we will go through the fairly simple process of enabling it in Clipper firmware as well as in your slicer, and we will run a print to see it in action. So with all that being said, and without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Huge thanks to Obico for sponsoring today's video. Obico is the open source smart 3D printing platform for makers. Obico provides high quality webcam streaming and the ability to start, pause, and cancel prints through their app or web interface, letting you keep an eye on your printer from anywhere. Have extra peace of mind thanks to their AI failure detection that has monitored over 60 million print hours and caught over 800,000 failures. Obico is available for all Marlin printers paired with Octoprint, and they now also support Clipper, which I'm personally very excited about. There's a free version that is great for testing out the platform, and their pro version starts at just $6 a month or $4 a month for the year. There is even an option to self-host. Links will be in the description so that you can find out more and sign up for Obico. As far as requirements go for running the exclude object module, you will of course need a 3D printer that's running Clipper firmware. We are going to be using the BQ Huracan today that I've been testing out over the past month, which ships pre-installed with Clipper firmware. Heading into the mainsail interface, navigate to the machine tab. Down by the update manager, you can see the current version of Clipper, Moonraker, and mainsail. To run exclude object, you need to be at least on Clipper version 0.10.0-438, Moonraker version 0.7.1, dash 445 and mainsail version 2.1.0. If you are below those versions, you will need to update first. This can be typically done through the actual web interface using the update manager or through using something like Kaya. For anyone that does run the Fluid interface, it also looks like this is available in the latest versions of Fluid and the installation process should be very similar. Once you verify that you are on a compatible version, you are ready to continue. Also under the machine tab and config files, open your printer.cfg file. Here we need to add the exclude object module so that we're able to use the feature. To do this, create a new line and type open bracket exclude underscore object close bracket. I added this to the top next to the include main sale config, but really anywhere other than the bottom save config section is fine to add this. For this as well as the next section that we're about to cover, I will have that in the description below in case you just want to copy and paste it into your config. Once complete, click save and close. Next, we need to add a line to our Moonraker config file. Also under config files, click to open the moonraker.conf file. We are looking for a section called file manager. If it's not there, then you will need to add it by typing open bracket file underscore manager close bracket. Under the file manager section, add a line and type enable underscore object underscore processing colon true. Once you've entered this value, click save and restart to restart your Clipper instance. We are now done with all the changes that need to be done on the Clipper side of things. And the next step is just to make sure that your slicer is set up correctly to work with this. Good news is, is that if you're using Cura, it's already set up to label objects as default and you do not need to do anything else. For Prusa Slicer or Super Slicer under the print settings header and the output options tab, there is an output file section. In this section, we need to make sure that the label objects checkbox is selected. If it's not checked, click on it to enable it. 
It is worth noting that anything sliced in Prusa Slicer or Super Slicer prior to enabling this, if it wasn't already enabled, will not work with the exclude option module. You will need to reslice them. So if there are files you commonly print, or if you're planning on batching out things that you regularly would batch out, you will want to reslice them so that way you can use this feature with that G code. Now all that is left is to print. For the Hercon, I'm currently using Cura per the manufacturer's recommendation. So I'm going to slice up a tray of parts for an upcoming printer build that I'm doing. Once sliced, I will send them off to the Huracan for printing. Jumping over to mainsail, if we look in the printing window, there is a new icon that is an X with a dotted outline. Clicking on this will open the exclude object window. This window will show you a grid of your build plate with all the objects that you are currently printing, as well as a list on the right hand side of those objects. Hovering over any of the objects and clicking or clicking on an X in that list will allow you to cancel that object from continuing to be printed. This works really well when you are printing different files, but could be a bit more difficult to figure out exactly which one needs to be canceled if they are all the same model with the same name. Luckily, while the printer is printing each part, the current part it is printing will be highlighted with a blue outline, making it much easier to see that you are canceling the correct object. With this, you can cancel one or as many objects as you would like. You will notice that the hot end still does travel towards the canceled part, but it will quickly bounce back without wasting any filament. Even if you find yourself only needing to use this every once in a while when you're maybe batching out parts or if you're working with a more warp prone material, it is still really nice to have enabled. And that has been the Exclude Object in Clipper. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're either up and running with the Exclude Object module or that you at least have a much better understanding of what it is, how it works, and how to get it set up if that's something you want to do. Let me know in the comments down below how many of you actually knew this was a feature in Clipper. Had I not spoken with Mainsail either early this year or late last year about this, I wouldn't have even known to look for it. It's not something I've seen highlighted. I didn't see a big feature announcement when it made its way into main Clipper. So I'm curious to know how many even know that this was something that they could enable. On that note, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. We make a video every single week, so there's always fresh content coming your way. And if you do want to support the channel furthermore, I'll have links down below in the description over to our Patreon where there are some really awesome rewards. Huge thank you to all of our existing Patreon supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you for allowing me to come back every single week and spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you all to enjoy. Enjoy. On that note, this has been Daniel from ModBot, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace, guys!